Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over an example of solving for the monopolist equilibrium. In my example, the monopolist is going to face the demand curve P is equal to 60 minus 2Q and the monopolist total cost function is equal to 20 plus 10Q plus Q squared divided by 2. The first thing to note is that the profit maximization rule for the monopolist is to produce such that the marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue. So MC is equal to MR. So my first step then when I'm finding monopoly equilibrium is to find each of these elements. So let's find marginal cost first and I'm going to do this in blue. Well my marginal cost function is just going to be equal to the derivative of the total cost function with respect to quantity. In my example here I can just use the power rule so we find that MC is equal to well the constant drops out, 10Q will become 10, and q squared divided by 2 is going to be equal to q once we take the 2 at the front. So mc is equal to 10 plus q. So if you don't know how I took the derivative here, I encourage you just to do some research up on your basic calculus skills, especially what we called the power rule. There are so many good videos on YouTube that demonstrate this skill. I think I've got one, but it's a little bit old, but there's heaps around. Okay, good. So I also need the marginal revenue function, and I can find that really easily from my demand function. And I'm going to use a green color. I'm going to use a useful trick that the marginal revenue function has the same vertical or p-axis intercept as the demand function, but twice the slope. So I do have a separate video that I will link to in the description below where I show why this particular trick works. But for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the trick itself. We're looking at our demand curve. 60 here is the vertical axis intercept and the coefficient on the Q variable is negative two. That's our slope coefficient. So for our marginal revenue, we can double that. And so we get marginal revenue is equal to 60 minus four Q. If we were to draw all this out in a diagram, it would look something like the following. So the marginal revenue being twice as steep as our demand, but the same vertical axis intercept 60. Okay, great, so now that we have our marginal revenue function and our marginal cost function, we can determine monopolist equilibrium output by setting these guys both equal to one another. If we do that, we get 10 plus Q is equal to 60 minus 4Q. We can solve for our equilibrium output by adding 4Q to both sides, which is going to cancel out the negative 4Q on the right, and we'll make the left-hand side 10 plus 5Q. Taking away 10 from both sides, we get 5Q is equal to 50. Let's divide both sides by five and we get Q is equal to 10. This is our equilibrium Q star. Graphically, what we have found is this. Since the marginal cost intercepts the vertical axis at 10 and has a slope positive one, it is upward sloping like this. And we have found that at the point of intersection between the marginal revenue and the marginal cost curve, the quantity associated with that intersection is 10, just like that. Okay, so let's make some room and I'll leave the important stuff here. So I'll still have my MC, MR and optimal quantity, but I will need to find the price. I'll do this in red. We are going to charge as much as possible and we can find that price by using our demand curve. So what we're going to do is substitute our optimal quantity into our demand curve here. And so we get P is equal to 60 minus two times, well 10, which is equal to 60 minus 20, which is equal to 40. Graphically, what we have done is found that when Q is equal to 10, the maximum price that we can charge is equal to 40. Okay, so in another video, I will do welfare analysis on this example. So consumer producer surplus and deadweight loss. I might do another video focusing on profit. So look out for those videos in my channel. Until then, please like and subscribe, um, especially if the video helped, I'd really appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a good time. See you next time.